Hi, this is a short set of training videos to introduce you to the uh, Tarsia software package which is um, a free piece of software that was originally developed for use in maths teaching at quite a high level but it's been used quite widely um, in schools and in colleges of FE uh, in literacy and numeracy teaching and it's, uh, it's very easy and a very uh, straightforward way to create matching tasks in a variety of formats. This little set of videos will show you how to get hold of the software, uh, some of the key features and then we'll um, quickly begin to construct a puzzle changing the font style, changing the colour and looking at the different ways and different formats in which we can uh, print the puzzle out. So um, I hope you find this set of videos useful. The first thing we need to do is obviously to get hold of the software so if we just Google Tarsia Formulator at the top here you'll get these results. So if we, um, this, this is the one we want, Hermitech Laboratory Download, so if we click on that, we'll get um, these results. You can see there's all sorts of weird and wonderful um, downloads we can um, uh, choose from, but the one we want, we've got to scroll all the way down, and the one we want is this one here, Formulator Tarsia in Installation Package. So if you just click on this icon here, you'll be able to download the uh, uh, the software, install it uh, onto your PC or your laptop, and then uh, you can then start it up, start up, start up the software either from uh, the start menu, or you uh, may like to create an icon, uh, a shortcut on the desktop. So the next video shows uh, will show you how to um, how to get started in uh, making uh, uh, a simple triangle uh, shape puzzle. Okay, so um, if we uh, here we are back at the desktop. So if we uh, click on the Tarsia icon here. We will see um, every time we open up the software, we will get this panel here, which is uh, always gives us uh, a series of tips on uh, some of the finer points of using Tarsia. Um, just clicking on here will um, take you through some good practical tips. Uh, you can always stop that. Um, panel from showing it when you start up the software just by checking or unchecking this box here. Uh, but they are good practical tips um, and uh, you may want to uh, uh, have a look at those at some stage. But for the moment let's just, um, let's just get started by making a puzzle so we'll just close that down. As soon as we do uh, you'll see that we're presented with this panel and on the left hand side uh, we're shown the different kinds of uh, puzzles that we can make a uh, standard jigsaw or an extended jigsaw we've got some other excellent formats here domino formats follow me cards and then on on the right hand side here depending on what we click here we will see different uh, options for the um, whichever format we choose so we've got standard jigsaw here and you can if we look to the right here you can see the different shapes we can choose from hexagons, triangles, rhombus and as you can see as I hover over each shape um, we're given information about the number of pieces and then also if you look down the bottom here you can see there's some more information about the uh, uh, the format of the puzzle. Uh, the extended jigsaws, are, as, the, as the term would suggest, are, are longer and slightly more complex. And um, if you, again, if you look down at the bottom here, that will give you more information about the way in which they are. Then there's more of a challenge to those. We won't worry too much about those yet. Those finer features. We'll just go back to uh, creating a, a standard jigsaw. And uh, so we'll just click on the triangle there and then we'll click on uh, OK and in the next video um, we'll look at how to uh, um, input some information to create our very first puzzle. OK so 
We've highlighted the standard triangular jigsaw puzzle um, icon there. Now if we click on OK, we're taken to um, this screen. Now a key part of the Tarsia screen is this bottom section here where you, we've got five tabs. Uh, it's the first four that are the most useful to us in creating puzzles really. Um, we've got this tab highlighted, Input, and it's on this screen that we can begin to input uh, pairs of um, words or um, uh, numbers that we want students to match. So if we're going to make up a simple um, uh, numeracy activity which might practice converting metric units from in different decimal formats, we may want to put in something like 1.4 kilos and then hopefully we might want our students to match that up with 1400 grams. Now if you look at the right hand side of the screen here you could see down here we've got the 18 um, pieces that make up the jigsaw and if we want to then input um, the information for the second pair we just click on um, number two. So we've we've made our first pair of matching terms 1.4 kilograms and 1400 grams so if we just click on the number two there we can make up a second matching pair so we'll put 2.1 kilos and we would want our students to make match that up with 200 or 2100 grams. Now if we just go back uh, and we can go back just by clicking on the number one I just want to show you how we can change the font style and the colour because I find it's really uh, useful to be able to colour code the first element of each matching pair with the same colour um, and so I'll just show you how we do that let's put a, let's put a space in there okay so now we've got to highlight it first then we go to style and we come down to other and then when we click there you'll see this panel opens here so we've got an option to change the font we'll change that to comic sans and then by looking here um, you can see if we click there we can change the uh, the color of the font so we'll choose orange and then we click OK okay you, you can see how that's changed the, the font style and the color so if we do the same thing here with 1400 grams we'll just put a little space in there first so we go to style other now notice that um, the uh, the software will revert to um, the last setting that you uh, use so we've got um, comic sans already set but we want to change the color to green so click on OK and that should mean oops, that we've now got um, our first pair of terms uh, ready and color coded so we could do the same with the second pair just by going over there clicking number two so we'll just do the same for that okay highlight style other just need to change that back to orange okay and then this one let's go to style other change that to green okay um, so that's our first two um, uh, pairs of uh, first two pieces of the puzzle made. Just a little tip before we move on to the next screen. If you want to colour code you may find it useful just to go through and colour code all of the pieces one colour first of all then go back uh, and then just colour all the uh, second elements of the matching pairs uh, a different colour. You'll find that will save you time. So in, in the next video we'll, we'll have a look at um, um, this next um, screen in Tarsia which is called Table. So if we now click on table, 
you can see we've got a very this is a very useful screen in Tarsi because at a glance we can have a look at all the pairs of um, words or numbers that we've used to create the puzzle and that's very useful because we can scroll down and see at a glance uh, all the information that we've added now you may find it useful to reduce the zoom size and then you can see more of the uh, uh, more of those two pages when you're making matching tasks it's it's good to avoid having any double matches anywhere so sometimes you need to have a glance up and down the information to see um, uh, if there are any um, terms that could be matched more than once. So in the next video we'll have a quick look at the uh, how we um, can print out and um, change the format and change the size of the uh, puzzle by clicking on the output tab. So if we now click on the output tab we can see the two A4 sheets that Tarsia has created and we can see here the uh, the terms that we've added 1.4 kilograms and 1400 grams there so the software distributes that information at random around those uh, uh, different sides of the triangles and these are the pages that will be printed out and uh, if you look to the right hand side you can see here that we've got an option um, this, the normal setting would result in you having to print out two pages with the triangles on but you could print out the puzzle in a larger format if you wanted so if you clicked on this tab here large three per page you'll see we have a larger format we'll need to print out more pages but the jigsaw pieces will be um, a fair bit bigger just three on a on a page so we'll just go back to normal and it's on this page it's on this screen rather that we have the option of going to um, print so if you just click on print there you'll then bring up um, information about whatever printer you've got connected and just click on OK. So in, in the next video we'll just have a look at the last um, key screen in, in the Tarsia package which is the uh, solution which we can reach by clicking on this tab down the bottom. So if we have a quick look at that uh, at the solution screen which um, looks like that. So that that's when we've added all the information into our puzzles. You will see the um, uh, all the information that you've used to create your puzzle uh, will be set around the different sides of, of the triangle. Again, uh, you may some you can change the kind of zoom function there. Um, and what's interesting if you make a complex or relatively challenging puzzle and you wanted to simplify it you've got an option here to click on simplified version which just chooses the middle um, uh, set of shapes that you've used we'll just go back to the full version okay so if I go to um, let's see if I can quickly find one that I made earlier so we'll have a look at this one this was a puzzle made um, made up recently uh, for use with some students who were training to be nurses and they had to practice converting um, gra um, milligrams to micrograms so you can see here that's the output um, and that was the solution so on that puzzle you could see how that's what the solution uh, looks like you can also, um, in Tarsia, you can also uh, insert um, pictures and um, in another set of training videos I may show you uh, one or two more, uh, one or two other features of the, uh, of the Tarsia software package. Um, it's a very versatile and a very accessible uh, bit of software and 
I hope you hope these training videos have helped you uh, to get started uh, in using the software.